Today we're going to talk about a journey. Journey of a boy. The boy who became a man. And the man who became a consultant. It's a very special moment today. I'm going to introduce MZ, Mohammed Zahib. And maybe I've already done this video. You know my past. You know I've grown up over here. You know I started my career in 2009. But let's talk about the bloopers and let's talk about some funny incidents today in this video. Let's start with why do I have so many cars? So, yeah, why cars? Now, see, yes, I'm not some Andrew Tate who walks into a showroom and uh, <laughs> picks up a Bugatti now. Um, in the, uh, you know, in a funny way, I've had clients like that. So my my first the sort of big deal, so my biggest deal, were these two buildings for 126 million. So I still remember the buyer was from my end. The buyer was somebody from India, and the seller was um, from Italy. So this guy is still my friend. You know, this was back in 2013. So this guy actually walks into a showroom and buys a Bentley in cash. So I've seen that, but I don't do that. For me, um, for example, this is not a 2024. The, the 7 Series was. That's a different story. We use leverage. Uh, this was like a 2023, but I got a good deal. So it's now because I've been in Dubai all my life, um, I pick up good deals in cars. Now, now, when I tell the prices I bought cars from, for example, today a deal was offered to me. A Rolls Royce 2015 for like 300,000 dirhams, and my friend was like, "Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up!" I'm like I'm done, I'm done. Just give, give it a break. So why cars? One, uh, I don't pick up random cars. I pick up again deals like real estate, something that's slightly below the market price. Two, why do people come to Dubai? Dubai is all about the experience, right? People want to invest into that experience. Dubai is a vision. See, Dubai is something that nobody in the world has seen before. So that, that's the reason of cars, you know, I try to give my clients. So we decided to invest more into tech, uh, more into marketing and more into luxury, like, you know, a lot of drivers. So I try to offer my uh, investors chauffeur, nice cars, um, comfort. So we did try and invest into that. So we we're discussing about bloopers. Okay, you know the basic story, but I'll tell you the funny parts of it. So my first sort of business so it was one investor from kazakhstan and i was like the sales director and i was just 23 years old because maturity comes at times it didn't exactly work out maybe he didn't get the profit or the results you know this is one thing i've observed i'll tell you my further experiences where people are just impatient i don't know if you know this a developer hired me so i don't know if you know this building um marina it's very famous it's called the twisty tower i call it the infinity tower the actual name is kayan tower uh, and they came up with a beautiful building, um, Silverine, next to uh, Marina Mall. Now, these guys uh, were going to hire me as a sales manager. And um, I was ecstatic. I was, that's fantastic. They were doing really well. I loved Silverine. I think I leased out uh, more than 50% of Silverine to a Norwegian oil company called Sea Drill. So I, I had a lot of corporate connection. Seadrill, Microsoft, uh, Raytheon, really big uh, Fortune 500 corporate connections. Then, um, so I, re I still remember this day, I was waiting in an office and then I was this like big shot, uh, young, stupid guy. And um, so I was supposed to meet this guy, uh, Indian guy and he was late for his meeting. And I, was, I was like, why should I wait for this guy? But I had this instinct. I was like, maybe I should just wait for him. And uh, I waited almost an hour, so he comes um, and um, we had this conversation for an hour. And I think that sort of changed my life. I was like, uh, no, this is the guy. It's not about the company, it's about the person. And so this man, he thought me the entire, you know, this company was making close to 100 million terms in profit per month. We hacked the code of demand supply. So then the plots in JVC were like, I don't know, 
65 dirham per square foot and so we picked up 10 plots of course there were few investors involved i can't release the name so we picked up 10 plots we kept calling relatives and um we played the entire demand supply game we created demand we made massive profits and then we took those profits to the same game in different locations phenomenal money with big money I mean, I think our office was something like a Wolf of Wall Street office. So that was that was that was a really funny incident. Then um, I sort of uh, ventured towards uh, somebody from the royal family had hired me. I don't want to get too much into that experience. That was again an interesting experience. Uh, because we're talking about bloopers here. We're not talking about fun stuff. Uh, we're not talking about. Um, we're not talking about the good stuff. Let's talk about the the bad stuff, right? So and so between this so this investor, uh, we start his father loved me so much he told me let's start up a company i told him this was a bad idea and so i still took my setup he he wanted to set up right next door to his son uh, uh a, no they were not enemies or anything they were they, lo- they loved each other he made in fact the, the dad made money from the son's company and he's like no i want to do something on my own so it was this big textile tycoon and uh, I, I don't even say the names. The names are so similar. So st- we, I helped him set up, uh, and so this was back in 2014. I helped him set up a, a real estate slash interior designing company. Set up the trade license, all of it. Hired for him. I told him this was a bad idea, and guess he just lost a lot of money. It didn't work out. Um, any other companies? So then after that, I've set up two other companies. And it failed. If you even check the first probably video of my YouTube, there's a company called Forward. I love that name. Forward is a beautiful name um, because I, I love the logo. I love the designs. Just, just it. maybe, maybe I wasn't ready. 2021 was a massive, massive setback. I, 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 I faced betrayal, um, where I faced those legal issues where my partner stole. The profits and how he locked me because I was I was somebody. So in the Middle East, they believe in uh, something called zaban. It's called she wants a word goes out of the mouth. It's the contract, you know. So Arabs in the Middle East, we have that, you know. If we if we commit to something, boom, that's it. That's the contract. So I really trusted this guy, and it just didn't work out. And and so. I think my first half of 2022, I was um, I was spent a lot of time in, with lawyers and litigation and laws. Uh, but oh, there was a major blooper about a developer running away. So this biggest deal that I closed, the developer ran away. So I, I, that's how I actually I think it's through personal cases and litigation that I learned a lot of real estate law and how to be careful from scamsters and all of that. But anyway, so here uh, I had a very good friend who told me, listen to him, you earned that money. So you know how to make money. So leave that to God and just move forward. Now I had some wonderful, wonderful people in my life. I've been very, very blessed who knew how hard um, I used to work like a machine. I mean, God bless my family for understanding me. God bless, I thank God. And, and wonderful people so that's where i had my journey with experience you know i i, I love motani the founder this guy called rohit i mean, I mean these guys I, I love them you know they're so they're amazing amazing people and 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 they knew how i mean i i changed i was a game changer in the bike creek hub i used like i said you know um s tower came i was one of the game changers in the market they've never they've, they've never seen someone like me you know um, i could work non-stop Finally, after all those sort of experiences, I've finally, I'm going to set up something very different because I'm tired of all the typical real estate companies. You know, I, I, I my dream was always a consultancy, but of course, brokerage is, is a very important division. Company setup is an important division. Acquisitions are an important division where you get um, deals from the Dubai land up deals that is up for auction. That's a very important division. That's that comes under commercial golden visas. So um Airbnb, property management, you know, alone I cannot do it all. But luckily because of all my experiences, I know the best in the market. So I'm I'm getting I'm sort of cherry picking the best. And they all love me because I I, I don't know if people have worked with me 
I'm pretty much like an open book. I I enjoy what I do. So I I just so I've been blessed again. You know, I have a lot of good people in my life, and uh, I'm sort of bringing them together, like the Avengers, and I think something awesome is going to come true. And thank you all. I think it, none of these would have been possible if it weren't for you guys for all your support. Um, may it be agents, let it be investors. I've been blessed. Another sorry, there are a lot of blessings. I did. I was supposed to be bloopers. I ended up being a blessings video. Now I've never in 15 years. I've never made an investor lose money. because i've been so careful with each and every investment so that's the goal that's going to stay and thank you all of you i think we've reached so thank you everyone for your support and um please do stay with me in my journey i hope this grows into something beautiful thank you for watching once again